What's going on folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Guys, I am super excited about today's video. Uh, I'm going to be bringing at you the first part of a series, the sailboat duck boat conversion part one and i couldn't be more excited about it been thinking about this build for a very long time finally all the pieces everything ready to go so before we jump into you guys if you are new here make sure you hit that sub button guys we got tons of content coming at you um the main gig of this channel is uh the duck hunts the goose hunts uh, we filmed from September all the way through February, putting out some awesome hunts, and I can't wait to see what this season brings. Um, also, guys, um, again, we have the hunt giveaway this year that I'm doing with my buddy Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting. Um, kind of a combo thing between our channels, the podcast, our Patreon group, a whole bunch of things, um, and it's going to be awesome. We're going to have one lucky patron from the group come with us. We're taking the duck bus and getting after the birds, so we're super excited about that. Um, so jump over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting, and you can, uh, you can join that for your chance to join us for a hunt this year. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video today. All right, guys, so here it is. <laughs> it is looking a little rough, but this is the sailboat, guys, and the whole premise of this build is going to be doing a budget build i got this thing for free looked on marketplace facebook marketplace and got this sailboat for free so sitting off by the side of the road just wasting away look you can see i'm in multiple different layers of paint i think i'm counting one two three four different layers of paint there so this thing it's got to be a little old um and you can see the old sailboat part where <laughs> um they used it for selling so uh that's pretty cool but i've seen where some people have took the sunfish sailboats and they convert them to they convert them to um duck hunting sneak boats so i saw that and i'm like man i gotta try my hand at this you guys know that i have a love a love for duck boats whether it be the duck torpedo my canoes my kayaks the big boat all the good stuff um and this is just one more boat in the armada so um super excited about it here are the, the tools of the trade get everything ready to go we got heavy duty construction adhesive um got some some light a, a lot of this stuff is like leftover from other builds too so got framing screws uh got the epoxy resin which i've never done this there'll be a learning curve on that with the mixing all that kind of stuff I got a camo system for it. Here is the actual actual fiberglass roll. Um, but yeah, all the stuff that I think I'll need. So uh, I guess the next part is to just jump in as this is gonna be one of those things where I'm just, I'm just winging it. Cause I, all I've done is look at pictures of other people's designs and kind of gone for it, or I'm planning just to go for it. Um, we got the wood over here. All this is treated lumber it's not marine grade but it's treated lumber and that should be fine since i'm fiberglassing over it uh, but yeah without further ado i'm gonna start measuring and get to it <laughs> Whew. one cut down one cut down there she is Whew. Keep her going. All right, fellas, well, I got the first cut done. Let me show you what it looks like here. So, like I said, guys, I'm just, I'm just winging it. If I have to cut twice, I do. We've got all the measurements. Um, but what I decided to go with on the measurement was 28 inches wide. And the reason I went with that measurement, I measured the old duck torpedo and it's actually 28 wide. Actually it's 20, it's 25, um, but it's 24 and a quarter, okay? But I gotta put the two by fours around there for framing. You guys see that later. Um, so that's gonna take three inches away from um, whatever I go with. So I went with 28 wide for the cut here 
Um, and first thing I did is I went to this little like water guard thing that comes on there. If I can use that, that'd be nice. Um, but probably I'm just gonna cut through it and keep going. Um, I thought I'd do this first cut and then it would just pull out of here, but it looks like I'm not, I'm not wide enough. I'm like, um, how to explain it. I'm not deep enough, far enough over that I'm missing this uh, tub that you sit in when you're on the, uh, if you're using this as a sailboat, but yeah. There's a cut. I thought it would just all lift out of there in one easy sheet, but looks like I'm gonna have to go round two and figure out what the heck to do. So, <clears throat> yeah, like that hole. If it was like that everywhere, that'd be good to go, but it's not quite. So we'll keep cutting and digging and figuring this out. off there and looks like I'm gonna have to go wider like I said in that last clip um, I need to go past this this is like a tub so this tub was looks like there's some foam and then put into place there with that fiberglass and so I need to go far enough back that I'm cutting the whole tub out and wide enough you guys can see right here where I'm not wide enough to go past the tub so I gotta get that and then I'm looking in the bottom and it looks like there's gonna be oh man this thing's filled with water so we'll see I don't know if you guys can see that but there's water in there <laughs> not what I want to see if this thing has a hole in it I go through all this work <laughs> it ain't gonna be good but um all that being said is it's fiberglass so i can fiberglass patch any issue we come across so it's just all about figuring it out uh, but yeah it does look like there's some of this foam stuff on the bottom so i'll probably be playing cleanup on the bottom too and also trying to be finesse so i don't bust any holes through the bottom which finesse not my strong suit. so here we go And that, folks, is why you measure once and cut twice. Here we go. So there it is guys I got it marked down this is where I decided I'm gonna end up going for the full length just on the other side of this water guard um, so I got it marked down I'm gonna cut but first I'm gonna take this thing off I'm just gonna screw past it 
or screw it out instead of cutting past it i think it'll be a an easier overall but here we got the boat guys i got it open that's the plug um that's gonna be gone we'll patch that over and then all that so definitely got some more cleanup but first things first and get this cut up then clean up then wooden fiberglass but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's get going we're losing daylight though so let's go again day two so let me show you where we left off last night we got this last piece out so i think this is the size that i'm going to end up going with i mean i can't go any smaller now so um <laughs> but i think i like it uh i based it kind of roughly off of what i got on the duck torpedo which you guys i know you guys saw that last year when i used it a lot first first shot of this i'm sure i'll learn a lot uh by getting after it so anyways let's get let's get going so i think my first step here today is going to be in draining this water cleaning out more of this crap and i'm really just going to have to clean up i was planning to leave some of this stuff for support but it's just all this foam is just waterlogged so it must have just been soaked over time um and all I'm doing is leaving excess weight in there, which, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much, if I need to take it all out or what. But the back end was definitely, definitely waterlogged. And if this thing's holding water inside of it, then it's got to be waterlogged too somewhere. So, and if there's a leak, hopefully we can find it. Um, we should be able to patch anything we find. So, anyways, let's get after it. Um, I am going to get rid of this thing. I'm going to cut it down all the way and we'll patch that hole. This is where the, the rudder goes through the sailboat. And then definitely want to leave this post tool because it's really good support here in the front. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I'm good with removing just about anything and adding support. I'd like to do. definitely the most nerve-wracking part so far because um well you're just cutting right against the actual boat but like i keep saying anything that happens we can patch it so i'm just going for it because i i just am you know that's what you got to do um keep on going You ever feel like you don't have the right tool for the job? <laughs> 
Me either. Alright fellas, <clears throat> well this is definitely the least enjoyable part of any project where you're just picking out old garbage. It was like when I was um, demolishing the inside of that duck bus. Um, that was not the fun part. The fun part is building it new and, and using it. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, but one discovery guys, I did figure out where we're getting that water log from right there. There is the culprit. Maybe see it a little better from this side. But um. Yep, there's the hole. So, uh, um, right now we're gonna get all this garbage picked up. All right, so looking pretty good, honestly. Looking pretty good, like a pretty good. So, slate, clean slate, pretty much to work on. So, I'm super excited about that. Turned out pretty good so far. So, um, yeah, I guess next thing we'll probably tackle is prepping this and prepping the top. So, by prepping that, I mean getting this old plug out of there working on the hole there to get ready to patch and then um sanding all this paint off here um and then we'll be 100 percent done with taking off and uh start with the rebuilding process so the construction that'll be the fun part all right gopro died there but i couldn't get that thing off and i had to just chop it away so not exactly what i wanted to do but like I've said a million times, we can patch, repatch, and spiffy it up. So, well, I'm not 100% thrilled about this. Camera's off for it, but I had to cut that pipe out of there for the um, the drain pipe that was in the seat. But yeah, drain plug is out now, so I'll have some patching and epoxying to do on that hole. Won't be too big of a deal at the end of the day. And then I cleaned up that a little bit more, so. Here we go. I am ready to sand the crap out of this. And then it'll be ready for a fresh paint of coat and camo when the time comes. Here we go. Um, yeah, this is part one, guys. Conclusion of it. Um, let me know in the comments how you think it's going to turn out. A um, couple things I'm, I'm concerned about, or maybe not concerned, but I'm still brainstorming is how I'm going to mount the mud motor on there. I don't know if I ever showed you that at the beginning, but I got a six and a half horse Predator motor, and then um, the kit's coming in the mail, 
and it should be ready by the time I'm ready. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at on the build. I am stoked. <laughs> I think this is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a little fun. Um, but, yeah, I think right here we'll put the, the mount right here. The motor will sit here. And, I mean, I'll end up sitting a little bit further up in there, but that's fine because this is a one-person rig. Me and old Chief in there, I can't imagine ever needing more than that in this um, little little vessel. So, anyways, guys, make sure you hit the sub button so you don't miss out on part two and three and four and however many parts this takes me. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked to get this finished so I can test it out on the water and do all do all the fun stuff. So, anyways, that's all I got for today, guys. I'm Jordan Deccan Chronicles, and we'll see you on the next one. Let's go.